So you've landed on this video because you want to learn more about Morton's toe. Now Morton's toe is a condition where the second metatarsal bone, so if you look at the skeletal structure of the foot right here, so this is the first, this is a big toe joint uh, where we push through. Uh, this second metatarsal bone right here is further ahead than the big toe joint. And then oftentimes the toe, the second toe, and maybe even the third toe might be longer than your big toe. So that means that the first metatarsal is a little bit shorter than the second metatarsal. And as a result, what ends up happening is you may end up with a lot of pressure on the second metatarsal. And this causes callousing potential or pain in this particular area. Now, Morton's toe is a hereditary condition like most features of your bone structure. Meaning that most likely you have family members that also are afflicted with this condition. Now, don't fret because a 2004 study showed that Morton's toe is more common in athletes than non-athletes. So if you happen to have Morton's toe, maybe you're going to be a next Olympian. But let's go into some details as to what you can do to resolve pain from Morton's toe. There's a number of things you can do for Morton's toe. One of them would be to add an insert under the first metatarsal, as well as a big toe. This raises up the big toe joint right here and helps to take some pressure off the second toe. So that's one way to reduce some of the pressure on the uh, second metatarsal head, uh, as well as metatarsal pads. So there's the option of adding a metatarsal pad behind the second metatarsal to raise it up and then relieve some of the pressure on that area by supporting that portion of the foot. The other option would be to design a custom foot orthotic which has that raised first metatarsal joint as well as metatarsal pad. We call it a Morton's extension. So that's actually a thickening of the um, area right in here in the device that raises up that first metatarsal and helps take again some pressure off the second toe. The other option is to take that insole and carve a hole where that callus is. Uh, and sometimes you can even see that when you look at the insole and you may see the markings of your metatarsals on the front, you could cut out a hole right where that second metatarsal bone is, where the callus is present, to take some of the pressure off. Now rocker sole shoes are stiffer shoes. As you can see, it doesn't bend very much and doesn't flex very much and it has quite a bevel in the toe. So this kind of rolls off for you instead of your foot having to do some of that action itself. And it helps to reduce pressure on the first metatarsal joint <clears throat> as well as the second and third and fourth and fifth. So that way you can really reduce the pressure on the ball of foot. Now, the problem is sometimes when the rocker is in the wrong place, if it's too far forward, too far back, it may not actually take up that much pressure off that particular area, which is why insole modifications are usually better than looking at a rocker sold um, footwear option uh, because of the fact that it's going to, you know, potentially still apply pressure even though you have that thicker sole with the stiff front that prevents the action of the toes and therefore there's less pressure on the metatarsal bone. Another thing to remember is that if you do have Morton's toe and your toes are longer, the second and the third toe, or, or maybe even just the second toe, is longer than your big toe, what may happen is that you may buy shoes a little bit too short because those toes can you know, kind of curl under the, out, out of the way. So as a result, what happens is that you may end up with callousing at the tips of your toes. And uh, you know, there may be some extra pressure there. Maybe you even get a bruised black nail because it's jamming into the end of the shoe. So you gotta be very careful when you select footwear that there's enough length in the shoe to accommodate that. I find you know, sometimes if you have a shoe that's a little bit more pointed like this, it tends to have a little bit more room for the second and third toes, a little bit less for the big toe. So if you go slightly, maybe half a size longer, it will give you some extra space there. But um, one of the things to definitely consider is that if you can take the insole out of the shoe, take it out, stand on it, and make sure that your toe isn't overlapping the end of this. Because if it's overlapping here, then you're going to end up, you know, with the toe being scrunched back, it can potentially end up in a hammer toe or a claw toe, uh, which you know is causing the toes to be like this. And then as a result, what ends up happening, you end up with more pressure on the tips of the toes right here, which can cause that callus to develop. If you have any questions regarding Morton Store, or there was anything unclear about what we discussed regarding the modifications for Morton's toe, please don't hesitate to post your questions and comments below. Have a phenomenal day.